です<笑> I thought it was getting rather noisy around here. Looks like you guys already defeated the boss in this area. Huh? We did? Tesco doesn't remember doing that. I don't remember either. Did any one of us really do that? Seems like we must have beaten him sometime along the way to getting here. The boss of the bourgeois demons must not have been very memorable. But enough about that. Do you remember the promise you made to me earlier, my lord? Of course. I will never break a promise. However, that promise requires that I defeat the angel when she gets in the way of us accomplishing our goal. I see where you're coming from. That's absolutely fine. <laughs> Anyway, please excuse me now. I have to start heading over to my next target. Did you steal the money already? I doubt the largest vault in the area could be cracked so easily. I didn't steal anything. I thought I told you this is all completely justified. I didn't take a single extra hell, so please watch your mouth a little better. If you ever treat me like a thief again, I'll sue you for slander and rake in a mint. Oh, she might actually shake me down if I keep talking. Dusko doesn't get an allowance, so Dusko will be quiet now. Hmm, I'm really starting to doubt that this greedy angel is Artina. Are we done now, or do you still have something to say? No, 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 we're done. It seems like we were completely mistaken when we thought you were someone I used to know. What a coincidence. I actually thought I used to know someone with an attitude just like yours. But you're right, it must have been a mistake. It's been a long time since then. We're done here. Let's go, Fenric! My lord, there's more for us to do. You haven't kept the promise you made to me yet. This angel isn't trying to obstruct us in any way. There's no need to get rid of her now, is there? I see. In that case... Hey, angel! You want money, don't you? Then let me tell you something. We've got a bounty on our heads. Pretty high one. A bounty? How much, specifically? Exactly ten million hell. How about it? If you defeat us and hand us over to the Corruptorment, it will all be yours. Well, well. That's very interesting. Hey, Finfin! -fin, what are you doing? <laughs> Ten million hell? Well, sounds like the Corruptorman has finally realized our true value. Don't fall for it! It's not true! Fenric is lying! Fenfen -fen is a liar! A fraud! Only a final boss is allowed to do that! Shut up! Even if the bounty reward is a lie, it's still a fact that this woman will get in the way of us usurping the regime. I simply took the initiative in trying to eliminate a future problem for us. She is not wanted around here. Love is unnecessary for a man who will soon rule the world. Finfin, -fin, do you, uh, swing that way? Ten million hell. I'll reach my goal in a snap with that kind of money. She... she powered up as soon as she heard the amount! Huh? 
Love and courage aren't the only things that help you power up. I must take note of this. Huh? Seriously? Are we really gonna fight an angel? My dream. My brain. Am I really thinking about such a filthy situation? What do you say, my lord? This woman is trying to get in our way. I appreciate this, Fenric. As expected of my servant, this is the perfect strategy. All is for my lord. This woman is not her. She couldn't possibly be Artina. Artina would never act like this. So even if I defeat her, it shouldn't be a problem. Ready for me?
my best. As expected of my lord, you have kept your promise. Huh. I'm a man of my word. There's no need to praise me for doing something that is expected of me. Looks like this is the end for the Angel of Avarice. So, what now? Oh, that reminds me, there's a bounty on you too. For the upcoming presidential evil action, we'll need some funds. Wouldn't be a bad idea to fund our regime usurpation project with the money on your head. Oh, Fen Fen is so evil! He's evil and awful, so Desko should learn from him. It's the right thing for a demon to do, but it's hard to believe that he's doing this solely for his lord. Mm-hmm. He looks like a serious villain. It really suits him, though. Say what you want. This is why women and children are so troublesome. They let their emotions blind them to the big picture. There's no point in explaining anything to shallow-minded individuals. But what about you? Is there anything you'd like to mention? I'll let you say it for free. May I ask you something? Me? What is it? Why is the Netherworld neglecting the human world when such a powerful demon as you exists here? I've been told that demons tame humans by planting fear in their hearts to keep them in line. But you have neglected your duties and are just watching the humans follow the wrong path. Why is this happening? You have the power to change this, so why aren't you doing anything? That's the exact same question I have. I'm just a Prinny instructor. A Prinny instructor? You? Indeed. The Corruptorment and the Netherworld have fallen to the point where a demon like me is forced to take a stand to correct it. If it was up to me, and I hadn't lost my power, I'd easily send all the demons and humans to Hades, but... You... lost your power? It's a long story. I'm a vampire, but I forbid myself from drinking human blood. A vampire forbidden from sucking blood? I see. But, thanks to sardines, even after losing my power, I'm still able to fight to accomplish my goal. It's taken me a long time to realize that things have gotten so bad, 
But it's still not too late. I shall eventually take over the Corruptiment and teach all the worlds a lesson. A demonic social reformer. Mm hmm, Mr. Weirdo. I'll soon be traded into the Corruptiment from the bounty on my head. But... Won't you tell me your name? For free, if possible. Uh, my name is Valvatores. A demon who was once known as the Tyrant. Val... Vitores. <gasps> that reaction! She has to be! That's enough. You got to speak with a man who will soon become the Netherworld ruler. You should be honored. Now, instead of wasting any more time here, we must go trade her... What are you doing? Ah! The love scene at last? You get off of him! Hey, hey get a hold of yourself! Everyone, look! <laughs> Looks like my era has just begun. Warden Axel, you're alive! Why did you protect me? I thought money was the only thing you cared for. Damn it! Why? Why do I keep seeing Artina in you? You and Artina are two different people. So why? Answer me! You can't die until you answer me! This encounter, later to be known as the Angel of Avarice incident, came to an end in a most unexpected fashion. Tyrant Valvatores' shout, which heralded the end of the incident, was said to have shaken the entire netherworld. Like a lightning bolt from a clear sky, an ephemeral existence snuffed out by great violence. It must really suck for you. That angel might have been Artina. Even if some fish have Iwashi in their names, they're not always considered to be sardines outside of Japan. The sardines again? Is he trying to use sardines as a way to escape from reality? Big fish that swim in foreign seas are called Oki Iwashi and Itohiki Iwashi, even though they are deep sea fish. There's no end to the sardine spirit in Japanese culture. Someday, every fish will be called something Iwashi. Whatever. Why don't we start calling every fish an Iwashi? Next time, Episode 6, Sayonara Zetsubo Battlefront. Your sardine standards are distorted. There's no room for despair. He's really losing himself. Oh, a dreadful woman.